would just like to point out that the down elevator always works and the up elevator is the always the one that's broken. Always. That's all. Slowly walk down and show all of the yogurt. Man, 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 man. <laughs> I decided I would go up the bell tower. <laughs> and when you buy your ticket, it says, there is no elevator. There's just 414 steps. So that's why this line, there was no line to get into here. So there's a really long one to get into the Duomo. Whew. See you in a long time when I pass out. <sighs> My first rest stop on the way up to the top. I wanted to go up there, but the line was really long. So busy. Pretty high up already. Rest stop number two. That's where I was for rest stop one. This is rest stop number three. Freaky. to the top I took like five minutes of footage walking around the top of the um, bell tower and I don't know why that none of it has sound so this is me doing a voiceover of myself because there's no sound okay hi I'm Corey and I just made it to the top of the bell tower and I'm so tired I can't believe I made it here I am this is Florence that's the Duomo Look at those people, aren't they cool? My legs are burning from the walk up here because I'm a huge wimp. Look, it's pretty. It's it's still pretty. Yay. <gasps> Yay for gay couples. That's the market way down there. 
That's the train station. That's the baptistry. Oh, yay again. That's where I was earlier today taking pretty pictures, and that's earlier on in the video. Uh, pretty. Pretty. Okay, that's where the Statue of David is in the Uffizi Museum. And then down there, down there, is the fake, the copy that you can look at outside for free. And I guess this is where I walked back down. Well, I did it. I climbed to the top of this tower, which has no elevator, just steps. 414 of them. And I survived. Although my legs, I don't think my legs have ever been shakier than they are right now. Like, they just won't stop shaking just because they're exhausted. And I will say that it is definitely easier to walk down steps than it is to walk up them. But, I mean, it's still hard to walk down 414 steps. And proof is in the exhaustedness of my legs. Oh, that was fun. Do you like my shawl? I bought it today. So if you're not my mom or my sister, you can stop watching now. Or, I mean, you, you could keep watching if you want to, although it won't be as interesting, maybe. I don't know. Because I'm now going to talk to my mom and my sister about when they arrive and stuff they should know. I miss my puppies. Okay, this is a call they pay phone. You should call me on one when you get here. They're everywhere. Oh, okay, so when you get here, you might show up here. Because there are some buses that show up here. I'm not really sure where, you're, where you will show up, but what's important is that the entrance to the train station is right over there. And you might show up here, on a bus over here, or right there. There's McDonald's across the street, if you're hungry. But the important thing is that you need to go in this entrance, which is the only entrance, so you should be able to find it. Then you're going to walk up to one of these machines, you need to make sure if you're going to pay with cash, you got to get one of the little cash things. If not, they all take cards, but if you pay with cash, you have to go to cash. Okay, so then you walk up and you wait for the screen to go to the beginning, which is going to be soon, I think, waiting. Oh, okay, so the first thing you do is you hit English and it goes to English, and then you hit buy your ticket, and then you type in Arezzo, A-R-E, oh, there it is, Arezzo, and then it finds the times, and you select which time you want, so just give yourself like a 20 minute leeway, and you do second class, and then you do forward, and then it'll confirm it for you, and then you do forward, and then you do purchase, then you can do catch your card or whatever, and then you should be able to figure it out. And then you can look up there, and those are all the trains that are leaving, but that'll be confusing because that only has their end destination. It doesn't have all the stops, so what you're going to do, well, that's the platform number. That's interesting. In case you're looking for which platform you're on, that's the platform number. And, okay, so you walk up to one of these things, and the other side says departures, and you look for the time that you're supposed to be leaving. So if you leave at 6.40, you look for 6.40, and then you can see, make sure that it says Arezzo is one of the stops, and then one of the little blue numbers on the right will be your platform. And then you need to take your ticket, and you need to validate it, you stick it in one of those machines, and it goes, and it validates it, and now you're ready. Do you feel prepared now?